Do you want to know how to attract positive energy and dispel negative energy? Hi, Roman Fisher. If you're already not subscribed to this channel, then please do so, and then tap the notification bell so you will never miss a single video. Look, negativity, it, it's really common. It is very common in today's times. It seems that not many people want to be positive. And look, I wasn't always the most positive person. You might always see me happy. <laughs> you might always see me smiling and laughing. But look, I was not always positive. I was pretty negative, if anything. Back then, I was a super negative person. For example, I auditioned for an acting gig. And yeah, I assumed that I wasn't going to get it, even though I didn't know. I assumed automatically that I was not going to get the role. And that's just how I was. I was super negative. I always saw the bad in every situation, even if it wasn't bad for sure. I broke free from it, though. I didn't let negativity weigh me down any longer. I decided, back then, I decided that I had enough. I didn't want to do it anymore. I wanted to be positive. I didn't want to be so negative. And you know it's thanks to these tips that I've become a more positive person. I mean, it's truly amazing. The transformation is amazing. So I'm going to share these tips with you as well. So without further ado, let's get started. The first way is to laugh at your mistakes. You just got to laugh at your errors. We all make mistakes. We're all human. But you got to learn to laugh at yourself. You can't always be serious. Okay, the Joker has a question for you. So, listen to this. Why so serious? Why so serious? Don't be so serious. I don't know if you can answer his question though. I don't know if you can. Learn to laugh, learn to smile. Don't let everything be so serious. I mean, even if you screw up, that doesn't mean you have to be mad. I mean, learn, learn from your mistakes, but laugh, laugh as well. Just because you make a mistake, that doesn't mean you automatically have to get pissed off. You don't. Laughter is good for you and it will loosen any amount of stress. You will be victorious over any negativity if you can just laugh instead of getting mad. The second way is to pursue your desires. Pursue what makes you happy. Pursue what brings a smile to your face. Just pursue what makes you you. If you're not pursuing what makes you you, you're not gonna be you. Seriously, if you don't pursue what makes you happy, you will not be happy. I mean, who wants to work a nine to five all day every day? Okay, you gotta make money, you gotta do stuff, you gotta pay them bills, but you also have to be happy. You also got to make sure that you enjoy your life. Go after anything that lights a fire in here. Go after anything that lights a fire in here. Instead of thinking, feel. Pretty deep, huh? <laughs> you need to be living if you're going to be living. I mean, why live a life if you feel dead all the time? That's not fun. Do something cool. Do something interesting. Do something unique, even if it takes time. And it might be a hobby initially, but make it a career, and you can. It just takes time. But make sure to dedicate time to it. If you're serious about it, you will get it. If there's a will, there's a way. The third way is to forgive. Whether it's forgiving yourself or forgiving anybody, just forgive. That doesn't mean you have to like them. It just means you gotta let go of the past. You gotta let go of the past. Leave it where it belongs. The past is the past. It's already past. So leave it in the past. Doing this will minimize so much negativity. Don't hold grudges. The more you hold a grudge, the more it hurts you. They say that holding a grudge and not forgiving is basically like drinking your own poison. You're better off just letting it go. Don't let it consume you. Don't let it eat you from the inside out. Don't let it eat you. Leave it be. Let 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 it be, let it be. Uh, okay, I'm not a singer, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> the fourth way, and the last way, is to embrace yourself. Accept you for you. Who really cares? Who really cares what anybody has to say? If they don't accept you, that doesn't matter. All that matters is if you accept you. So be yourself, regardless of what anybody thinks or says. Regardless, who cares what other people see you as? You were you yesterday, you were you today, and you were you forever. What they say is not gonna change you at all. I mean, I don't know why people just can't embrace who they are. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. It's like, just accept yourself. You were you, you were special. You're a human being just like the rest of us. You're not any different, regardless. Regardless of your skin color, regardless of your religion, if you have one, it doesn't matter. See yourself as greatness, because you are greatness. We are all 
greatness. We're the human race. There's only one race, again, and that's the human race. If you found this video uplifting, educational, inspirational, motivational, whatever, <laughs> then please drop a like. Please drop a like. I kindly appreciate it. Please share to anybody and everybody who wants to become positive and rid themselves of any negativity. And please subscribe to get informed, get inspired, and to get living. Yeah.